Gemini, this is Char speaking from Charlie, Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and this is your romance or love reading for um, May 2020 and the dusk is falling so I hope it's going to stay light enough to do the cards and the reading uh, and I hope you're well and safe and uh, if you would I'm really happy to see you back and the live sessions are fantastic and uh, unfortunately there weren't many Gemini's last week asking questions so um, I hope you will leave reactions behind perhaps you've seen the live sessions and also uh, from last week um, and I hope you are happy and I hope the readings resonate with you remember if they don't uh, then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign and if you're new welcome to the channel um, and nice to see you I hope you to meet you in the live sessions as well and when you come into the live sessions then you're officially a cyber angel also um, uh, there's a new episode on the witches series uh, where this week we have discussed limitations unseen handicaps among other things and also the uh, witches oracle episode uh, uh, deck sorry from Marla Brooks we've had a lot of reactions and a lot of people are really interested and it is an interesting uh, series as uh, Wendy is also a therapist and I'm a therapist as well and I would love to become uh, officially uh, uh, a, a therapist um, but I just my priority is still with this channel but I've already uh, got my first page up on Whiplash on the website now if you would like an extended reading then please look at below the video and there you can find all the information there is a reading on offer um, uh, an extended uh, reading and also if you return uh, within six months you can have a follow-up or an update and discuss things as well and that is cheaper um, so those are just a couple of things and if you look at this white dot here with the eye then um, it will take you to the website and you can have a scout around there I haven't uploaded the witches episode yet on the uh, uh, website but I will be doing that tomorrow because I wanted to get out some of the romance readings because then I've got to go on to next week's readings um, uh, so thank you very much my cyber angels for subscribing and uh, coming back and being loyal it is and uh, sharing and liking I do appreciate that really very much your first card uh, is the playfulness card so let your inner child out be more playful gems because that's what you are that's one of your characteristics to recapture I'll put it a bit closer to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine okay the card that is clarifying is the king of wands uh, perhaps you your partner might be uh, the king of wands and the king of wands is Aries but don't exclude uh, Leo or Sagittarius those are all the fire signs but the king represents Aries and Leo is the queen and Sagittarius is the page but like I said this is Aries but don't ex exclude um, the other fire signs uh, and remember um, know your boundaries and know their boundaries um, because they are active they stand for action creativity passion logic so they will go for what they want and once they've got you and you've um, robbed their heart or you are in their heart they won't let go now it is getting exceptionally dark sorry about that but I do want to get this out getting to know each other is in the second week if you are meeting up with a fire sign 
um, even though it is locked down you might go to the supermarket and get your essentials and you might just meet a fire sign or if you have to go somewhere else um, there, uh, that it's open uh, like uh, the petrol pump uh, station then you might meet a fire sign the wheel miracles haven't left the world yet then they might ask you to go out and then you say no sorry they can't because of the lockdown but what we can do is we can internet we can skype or with messenger or whatsapp and so you're getting to know each other so there is already somewhere along the line for some of you there is a new beginning whilst you are talking to each other you will get to know each other you will refill your hobbies and what you like and what you don't like but let's say see what the card says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens yes and this is very very exciting the bond does deepen so you are already preparing for the uh, freedom and uh, for the lock when the lock time is over good on you Gemini good on you you're at least not sitting <laughs> you're being a typical Gemini you are creative and you are already finding ways to make new connections if you're not hooked up with a fire sign uh, or an Aries and fire is prominent in your reading as you've got the knight and the page so here the knight means that you um, might be meeting all three either Sag Aries, Leo or Sagittarius but they are bringing you news you might be getting news from a fire sign um, and if you get this news you have to act upon it directly instantaneously because it's very very urgent also um, this could mean that you are moving in or moving home the knight of wands also means moving home this could be happening in the second week um, because they are easing easing up on the lockdown in some countries and like in America they're already going to the beach okay in the third week uh, worth waiting for if you are still in the lockdown then this is the time that it is how you have to wait and the waiting is worth it divine timing is at work in your love life so the angels and the divine or the cosmos um, is working in your favor uh, because they are so quick it might take it's good to take things slowly when I see fire signs I always say to my querents uh, know your boundaries know their boundaries take your time to get to know each other before you jump in the deep end moving in for example but Gemini's you are quick and you know what you want you are a lot like the fire signs and yeah I get the word flippant you can you can it's like you can flip a house you can flip the situation you have got the walk and the talk um, but remember if you fall in love passion it does not last if you want a, a, a real extensive long lasting relationship then take the time because once you're a fire science love partner they won't let go and if it goes wrong it really goes wrong badly and I mean badly because they're the ones that you will be the one that most probably will go because you're quicker shift and you can make your mind up once it's made my uh, once it is made up you cut the cords and the fire sign um, I've seen it happen so many times and it's not that they're bad but they are people that once they love they fall ha head over heel in love hook line hook line and sinker like the Gemini's you are so much alike you both have passion you both you both have action so be careful you don't get burnt out you're such a good lover Gemini and you have the best of both worlds and that's what the fire signs find intriguing and 
love about you, but don't get burnt and don't let them get burnt. Make it last because you are so much alike. With a like, a like, it's either burn or carry on. Um, it's make or break. And that's the words I'm getting. You are the magician. You are magic. Uh, for me, you are magic, not because I'm a Gemini, but you have. You can do so much because you are a dual uh, sign, and you're even more capable of doing this than Aquarius and Libra. You, it's like you've got icy fingers in lots of pies. You can have a hobby, you can work, you can have two jobs and a hobby, you can have children, you can run a house, and you can do a study. You have to know your boundaries, otherwise you'll burn yourself out. And especially in passion, because I know you love passion, Gemini. Okay? That is a new beginning. And it is worth waiting for. So take the time to get to know each other. It is such an amazing reading this. This is really awesome. As well as for the fire signs and the air signs. It's magic. It's like fireworks. It's amazing. It is New Year's Eve and day at the same time. Release your ex. Don't hold on to old. Like you are a Gemini, you've got the sword. Cut away. Boom. Carry on. You ha Like I said, you and the fire signs fall in love. Hook, line and sinker. Now let the sinker sink. Okay? Let it release. Let the ex go. You. This might be the one. This is the... the Passion. You love passion. You love action. You love uh, play. You love the excitement and that's what the fire sign will give you. The time has come to clear your energy. Boom. It could even be with uh, a Sagittarius. And that's your opposite sign, Jemmy. That's your opposite sign. You've got the page of wands. So you will be getting news. But the page of wands stand for Sagittarius. Now the all over energy. Wow, I hadn't realized you've got strength. Again, you've got fire, Leo. So let's carry on. You've got Aries. You have Sagittarius and you've got Leo. Now I've never ever had a reading that all three signs are here. This is definitely magic and you've got the magician. The angels are playing magic. And you've got the ten of swords upside down. So you are not stabbed in the back. You can take this new beginning. You are in your strength. This is mind blowing. The Gemini readings are generally mind blowing uh, lately. And you've got the Eight of Wands, holidays, uh, travel, everything happens at once. Boom, boom, boom. Fire, fire, fire. Uh, is explosive this reading. Big happy changes. And I did not sort out these cards. I'm on my own and I'm not looking for anybody. But if this comes true, then this is even more blind, mind blowing. It will be skull blowing. Okay. <laughs> I'm not looking for anybody. <laughs> I just like to do what I do. And that's my tarot and Lenamum and help people. That's what I love. That's my passion. But it doesn't mean to say I'm open to a new special friendship. Okay, Gemini, I've I've let I have let out a secret. Okay, well, take care, and I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Take time. Uh, how do you pace yourself? I know you can walk, and I know you have to talk, but pace yourself. Learn from the past. Okay. Get to know each other. Be playful. That's what you're good at. But don't be too serious. But be meaningful. Be your true self. Be honest. Be clear. 
Know your boundaries. Say no when you don't want to. Know their boundaries and accept their no's as well. Release the past. You've been waiting for this and it's going to happen. Awesome. I love it. Take care and I love you all. Please like and share and I hope to see everybody, also the new viewers in the live sessions, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And please like and share and be blessed and stay safe.